All right, so here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. Yeah, Derek Lewis is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity and become a guy that has fought for the UFC heavyweight championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup here tonight. This Born in Louisville, Kentucky back in 1942 as Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali, no denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC team. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. But there won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC's octave. And he's got a lot of size, he's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. Muhammad Ali steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Muhammad Ali! Herb Dean is your referee. Right. He's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, here we go with round one. And what do you do as a UFC heavyweight if you are facing Muhammad Ali? It's simplistic to suggest that you can just shoot at his legs, right? It's not as though he hasn't been working on his wrestling and training. But you know what leads the dance for Muhammad Ali? Being light on his feet, moving well laterally, working off of that jab. Just an absolute treat to have Muhammad Ali on the proven ground tonight. Oh, nice counter to Beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Big hook. You got to be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh, man, John, they're trading early. That's that one, that right hand. Oh! Here. These shots landing on both sides. This is crazy round of fighting. Cable inches right down. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Takedown defense is there. And now some separation. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't quite get the ball. Big strike lands. 
chase down that finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big left hand. Lands that beautiful jab. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Nice strike lands from the bottom of the Under two minutes now to go in round one. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Mahanaga gets up. He is back on the feet here. Under a minute now to go in round one. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by the Black Beast. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice one right hook there. Final seconds here of round one. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, round two. Lands to the body. Oh, big right hand there from the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. He took some time off recently, got his knee fixed. And Bob Perez, his head coach, now really feels like he's sending a healthy athlete out there on fight. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Black Beast. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous one. He has to evade Stan's pace. Big, big strikes continue to land. Just defensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. He did a great job setting up that high kick. Oh, nice body. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Get right here. Back to his feet. Lands a big elbow there. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Just over two minutes to go. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. Oh, nice block. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big right next. Trying to hammer that lead leg. One minute now to go round two. Oh, nice overhand right.
make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. So there he is.